you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the gentleman for yielding. I, I, I rise this morning in, in strong support of the resolution, and I thank my good friend and colleague from Louisiana, Steve Scalise, for bringing it to the floor. The carbon tax is one of those endlessly recycled bad ideas. A carbon tax would put a tax and increase costs on coal and oil and gas, carbon dioxide emissions for power plants and other sources. In simpler terms, a carbon tax is a tax on productivity. And as anyone with the slightest familiarity with economics will tell you, the more you tax something, the less you get of it. It's just common sense. Late last year, Congress was able to deliver historic tax reform. And just seven months after we passed the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, nearly every economic indicator is showing record-breaking success. The free market has been unleashed again, and our economy is thriving as a result. We're on pace for a quarter of economic growth that we haven't seen in more than a decade. Imposing a job-killing carbon tax minimizes the gains that we've made and will stunt our economic growth. Of course, the carbon tax would run counter to the goals of American energy dominance and national security, another priority this administration and this Congress have been able to make great progress in. A carbon tax would have a negative effect on consumption, investment, and jobs and increase the cost of coal and natural gas and petroleum products and lead to lower real wage rates, lower labor productivity, and decreased worker incomes. Imposing a carbon tax on hardworking Americans sets the nation backward. And after all the accomplishments we've made in the last year and a half, that's just something we simply should not tolerate. A carbon tax asks the entire nation to make enormous sacrifices, and the only thing we get in return is falling behind our competitors in the global market. We have a broad array of leaders across the spectrum in the economy who are in support and agree with these principles. Uh, here's Harry Alford. He's the president of the National Black Chamber of Commerce. He said, quote, our great nation is at a crossroads. We can continue to reduce regulations and watch our economy rise with the recent tax reform. Bringing unnecessary hurdles before us, like a carbon tax, will preclude that growth and hurt our economy immensely, unquote. We, we've got pages and pages of these. Here's Heather Higgins, uh, CEO of the Independent Women's Voice. She says, quote, a carbon tax would be devastating to millions of American women and their families, causing their electricity bills and transportation costs to skyrocket, as well as suppressing their wages. Uh, here's Chet Thompson, the president of the American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers. Energy is the engine of progress, he says. Making it more expensive will hurt our economy and disproportionately impact middle and lower income families who can least afford it. If we had time, Mr. Speaker, we could be here all day. I have pages and pages of these quotes in support of the principle that we're advocating here this morning. We have to support this resolution. I urge my colleagues to do that, and I yield back.